Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with a kind of battle that I haven't had in a long time. It's a random Wi-Fi battle in singles. Yeah, I just haven't needed to in a really long time because I've been having enough challenges. But um, anyway, so this is using my UU team. Uh, I lead off with Arcanine, and that was a total misclick. I meant to go for the Thunder Fang, not the Extreme Speed. I mean, of course Arcanine is going to outspeed a freaking Lapras. Look at how much damage that Extreme Speed did, too. Had I gone for the Thunder Fang, it wouldn't have done twice as much, but it would have done a lot more. Uh, anyway, that uh, you know, useless crit to take out my Arcanine, uh, I was just hoping for the miss there, but I was like, no, 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 when I, when I saw that I accidentally picked extreme speed. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Rotom here, um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to force him to switch, uh, and indeed, uh, my opponent does pull out Lapis, and the move that I choose here is actually kind of strange, and you're going to be like, what the heck did I do there? Um, you know, the obvious move would have been an electric type move, but he had a lot of Pokemon on his team that were uh, weak to fighting. So I went ahead and went to the hidden power fighting, thinking if he stayed in, it would be okay, and if he switched out, it would be okay. Except for he freaking switches into his um, Venusaur, which is going to force my switch right now, and I go ahead and send out Steelix. Um, and Venusaur goes ahead and sleep powders. Uh, really, I could have left in Rotom. Rotom is faster since it is tended nature. Um, It'll always be faster than any Venusaur, but um, anyway, I, if I have to have one Pokemon be able to sleep, it might as well be Steelix, um, because it can take so many hits. Um, so anyway, I'm asleep here, and he gets, goes ahead and sends in his Weavile, and I'm thinking he's probably going to set up, because why would you send out an offensive attacker against a uh, physically defensive Pokemon? Anyway, he goes ahead and goes for the um, Swords Dance, so yes, this guy is definitely setting up on me, and he, he decides to be greedy and goes for the second Swords Dance. And so now I'm just hoping that this is a short sleep, not a long sleep, and indeed I wake up, and I go for the Stone Edge, and of course that's super effective, and of course it's going to get him down to his Focus Sash. I was pretty sure it was a Focus Sash, after all. I mean, he was, you know, being a little bit too cocky for it not to be. And so now the question is, what is he going to do to me? And he's going to go and head use Brick Break, and at plus four, that's 300% of its original power. I'm a little bit fearing it, but he gets me down, I survive, and I look at the amount of damage, and I'm pretty Pretty sure that's Custap Room. So I go for the 100% um, accurate Earthquake here to take out um, Levile. That's just whatever. But I'm at in Custap range. I'm pretty sure I'm at less than 25%. I'm gonna have to wait until the next time I see a, um, a screen with some HP. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends Lapras back out. And indeed, 35 out of 164 is less than a quarter. I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the explosion. Um, now, explosion might have, might very well be overkill. After all, I do have the Stone Edge, which is super effective. Um, but I didn't want to risk the miss, and I just wanted to take this bastard out. So I go ahead and go for the explosion. Cust out Barry means I go first, and Lapras is down, and we are each down to our final Pokemon. So bye bye Lapras. Um, <clears throat> and so now, and yeah, bye bye Steelix. Steelix did a great job in this match. It woke up exactly um, when he was supposed to. Uh, and anyway, now my last Pokemon is Rotom, and the question is, can I beat a Venusaur? Um, so now, I know that he carries a Sleep Powder, and I don't know that he knows that I carry Substitute. So I'm going to go ahead and sub on this turn. Uh, yeah, I consider what to do, um, but uh, after much soul-searching, <laughs> I do, ahead, do go ahead and uh, decide to go for the Substitute. Um, and so I'm just really hoping that he decides not to just out and out attack. Um, Venusaur indeed uses Sleep Powder, so that's awesome, awesome for me. I've got a free sub. Um, and a bit of HP recovery, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball and see just how uh, well I'm going to be able to kill this guy off. The answer is not very well. That's definitely a 3-hit KO. Um, he doesn't have recovery, so he doesn't have leftover, so that's going to be nice. Uh, he doesn't have Life Orb either. Um, but anyway, Energy Ball is going to take out my sub, um, and so i got to consider what to do here. Am I going to predict him to go for the sh um, Sleep Powder, or am I going to predict him to go for the attacking move? Um, Shadow Ball is the better move if he attacks, uh, substitute is the better move if he goes for the sleep powder. And so after much, much debate and much internal, you know, ah, what should I do? What should I do? Um, I just can't decide. And finally I decide, okay, fine, just go for the sub. Just go for the sub. It'll be okay. So I get off the sub. Takes out a chunk of my health. And he goes for the energy ball. And I'm like, well, shoot. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, so that's gonna, so that's gonna destroy my sub. And so now I'm gonna. So now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the attack. I don't think he's gonna shadow uh, sleep powder at me at this point. It's too risky. So I get him down to pretty low HP, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I just hope I can take an energy ball. Oh yeah, now I get the spec death drop. Thanks. Useless crit. Useless. 
And he doesn't go for the energy ball, he goes for the frenzy plant. I'm like, are you serious? At first I was really pissed because I was like, are you serious? That is such a bad move to have on a Pokemon, and I would have totally won if he'd used energy ball. I actually ran the calcs. Thanks to Overgrow, he would have KO'd me with energy ball. This way it was a lot more flashy, so my opponent was kind of awesome, and I just, ugh, I can't believe I lost, but it was a good battle. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.